The first thing we're going to do is to fix the reset part where uh, all when the frog resets the platforms just keep coming here and one of, we're gonna it sounds like an uh, obviously easy problem but but it's it's a little bit trickier than than that uh, the platforms are spawned on the left hand side and they just roll on and then they are deleted on the on the left hand side like that and what we can do is we can we can uh, uh, in the script that controls the level, we actually keep track of. We need to keep track of the platforms that we have that we spawn, and we do that by creating a. In the init, we create an empty table. This is a regular Lua table that we call spawns. We can call that whatever we want. And when we create a new platform, we not only create it and post the set speed message, we also store that platform in in this table of ours. And then we add uh, a reaction to a message, sorry, here, that it, we call reset. And what reset uh, does is that it first it posts uh, reset to the hero character and then it deletes all the platforms that are part of the, the spawns uh, table. So it, it uh, iterates through all these uh, items in that table and calls some geo delete on them and then it uh, empties the table. So that's all fine and well, uh, except for the fact that when a uh, platform reaches the, the left hand side, it will be it will currently delete itself. Uh, that was how we, we made it. So that means that the, this table will uh, fill up with lots of objects that has been deleted uh, throughout the course of the, of the game. So uh, we need to fix that as well. And um, that's a pretty easy fix. So instead of here, when it reaches the right left hand edge, we had geo delete before. Now we post a message to the level controller script and said that okay, we want you to delete spawn uh, is the message we call it that, and we send our own ID to that controller script. And that is the script we just looked at here, and we see that we have this also added a, uh, a reaction to the message delete spawn, and what it does is is go it goes through the the um, table and removes the item uh, that that we specified both from the table and also calls geo delete on it which means that that when the game resets the the table will be up to date with what's what's actually on screen or live uh, so the final edit is that we in the hero script uh, also change the death part here. So instead of oh, I see a little problem. Instead of calling reset on sending reset to ourselves, we set, send a reset message uh, to the controller script, and we actually send this one as well. And we don't need that, so I can just delete that because the controller script sends reset back to the uh, sorry back to the hero here yes right so let's look at that uh, and now if I die plop everything goes away just like it should so now we have a much nicer uh, game loop here where, where, where the whole level resets and not, not only the frog the reason for having the level controller post reset to the, the hero script instead of having it post itself is that because we might want to include some some uh, special effects or some kind of a little bit of an end scene or whatever or death sequence for a second or so and before we actually reset everything so so it's good to to, to collect all that kind of uh, all that kind of logic in one place so it becomes easy to, to, to tweak that 